Hey everybody, Excellent Execution Godamu here, and welcome back to Pokemon Vault White. Now I have some unfortunate news to give you, and I'm going to run through everything that's happened so far. Um, if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you will know that I actually have already recorded episode 2, but the video file came out very, very cut because I tried a different method of recording, so I've gone back to my original method of recording right now which I'll probably have to stick with for this whole series, which is not a problem, it's just a little bit more long-winded than I'd like it to be. But unfortunately, things have happened. Um, I'll quickly go through my Pokémon. We did get the Panseer, um, which the guy gave us. Um, it is up to you guys whether I keep the Panseer or not. I'm probably going to need it um, for some form of battle at some point, because you guys haven't given me any Pokémon to catch, and I haven't seen any that I would like to catch. Um, Oshawott is now level 16. Um, I don't think it knows anything new. Um, no, it doesn't, but there you go. Oshawott is now level 16. Um, I don't, I can't remember, I think it's level 80, or is it, no, 17 it evolves, so we're very close to evolving it. Um, here we are in the next town. Now, um, I cannot remember where we left off, but basically I've fought that trainer there, this trainer here, these two trainers here, um, and there's a trainer just there in the bottom left, as you can see. Um, there was nothing really good in the grass, um, but I have fought my way up here. Um, if you come over here, there was two items here, and they have been picked up. I cannot remember what they are. Let's find out. Uh, is I think it was probably the X-Defend and the X-Speed, because I definitely haven't bought any of those. Um, I'm probably not going to use them, it's just not the way I play. Um, I also, I don't think I went out to the left here. Oh no, you got a guy here, there's nothing we can do yet, because we can't get past this guy. Because we don't have the badges yet. So, um, I've done like the little bit of walking around and talking to everyone that I can. There's not really much here. There was an item down here which I've already got. So, um, I didn't realise I had to go in this building, but I have already fought... I came out this way into... What's it called? Dream Yard. And I fought this person. I've already fought this person. Fought that person and I've got this far and got stuck. So that's how we got the pants here from this dude or lady there. And that's how Oshawott is already level 16. Now I'm really, really, really stuck on this next fight. Um, basically we need to go in here and fight Charon. And he has an electric Pokemon and his Snivy. Now I can't remember what his electric Pokemon actually is. Now we could do with Oshawott being the lead because Panseer will hopefully do more damage to his Snivy. So this is exactly where I got up to, so hopefully you guys aren't too disappointed in what you've missed. Um, but let's continue. So this is the actual episode 2 of Pokemon Vault White. So I want to get this fight over and done with. Um, I have died to him many, many times because obviously this being the um, very, very hard version of Pokemon White. Oh, is it Snivy first, is it? Um, now, I think I have just been tackling it. I think that vine whip has absolutely been decimating me, but that's not too bad right there. Okay, so that's that damage. Let's just see what Water Gun will do. Please live that, don't get a crit. You're good. Okay, so they're about the same damage. Um, do I, I have five potions on me. Okay. Just chucking the pants here. I'm predicting a vine whip, so hopefully it will just stick to a vine whip. The only problem is because Pansy hasn't leveled up yet, his defenses and EVs and stuff are really, really low. Fire up and incinerate. <coughs> now this is what it was doing last time. It kept using growth and increasing its attacks. Because Panseer has got no EVs or anything, it's just getting decimated because its attacks are so low. 
If I can get it to level up, it will start getting some EVs. And hopefully it will use a Leer or Growth again. Yep, that's fine. Um, I can't remember what its next Pokemon is. I actually think it is an Electric type. Okay, let's Snivy down. That's the best I've done so far. What have we got? About to send in something. Okay, I see now. Um, I'm going to leave Pansir in as fodder. Elekid, yeah. Now I think what I have done is try to use Lick on it before to try and actually get the paralysis off. I'm going to go for an incinerate. Now my defense is really low so he's more than likely just going to one shot me at some point. Yeah, that's just doing no damage. Um, I did burn his berry though so let's heal up Oshawa. Okay, right. I'm going to lick and see if we can get the cheeky... No, it's still using quick attack. Okay, I was going to try and get the, the um, cheeky paralysis off there. Oshawa, it's up to you. Hopefully, it's probably going to have Thundershot. And you're probably going to get destroyed. Yeah, there's the Thundershot. Uh, and I'm para paralyzed as well. Hopefully, it's attack. Um... Just do a safety potion. Chop that back up to 37 HP. Okay. So it should be able to take this thunder shock and another sh thunder shock before I need to heal. This is what it's gonna have this is what it's coming down to. And I'm paralyzed. It's kind of the decision whether I need to train up Panseer or get something else. Okay, it's going to quick attack. Let's quickly chuck on another potion. Hopefully it's just going to keep quick attacking. No? Okay. I can do with it missing one of them. And I can do with not being paralyzed. And I'm paralyzed again every time I go for that attack. So I think it's definitely a failure on this point. So we'll just see. I want to keep my potions so if we do lose this fight, which we're going to, I will just reload the save. Yeah, there it is, okay. Let me just quickly do this. Where is it? Like so. Rerun it. Get back into the save. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so we need to train up Panseer. Um, If we can get Panseer some EVs, maybe it can take out Snivy really fast and then deal some decent damage to Elekid. So I'm going to go in this patch of grass and train, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so we're back again. Now I only trained up Panseer one level, um, but it did boost its um, stats. Now its speed is a lot higher, which is good. Its special attack only went up one, um, and so did everything else. But, to be honest, that's absolutely fine for the first fight. Now, because Pansy is going to have to kind of hold us for this, this is going to be another t attempt. Now, we do have the X Speed and the X Defend, which I might use. Um, I don't need the Speed, although I might give it to Oshawott, but the Defend is going to go on the Pansir, purely for the fact that it will need the Defense. Um, it would also be good if Pansy had a better, better fire attack than Incinerate. It's good in the fact that it can destroy the item that the Pokemon is holding, especially berries. I think it's actually just berries. But in every other way, it's a really, really ineffective move. Um, no, 
you're gonna have X defend. Now this ROM is all about using items and potions and type advantages to your advantage, so this is definitely not like a cheap way out, this is how you're supposed to play the game. Now unluckily the Snivy is still faster. And see, you see even just that damage. Now hopefully it'll just leer or something again. No tackle. That's not the end of the world. I'm just dealing damage right now. It's fine. We will potion up. Now he's already taking more hits than he normally would, so I'm happy about that. And he just got a critical hit. No, he didn't kill me. Oh, damn it, right. Oshawa. Get him to tackle off. No. Snivy is fast as hell. Right, that's fine. Send out Ellie Kid. That's cool. I know you got a Thunder Shock. I just want to live the Thunder Shock. Oh, that's cool. No, the Lear is fine. That means I have time to use my X Speed. Hopefully you can be a little bit faster now. God damn it. There we go, there's some damage. I'm still slower though, so the X speed was a little bit pointless. Oh, it only needs one more hit though. Two probably now. And well, mind this is the hardest fight purely because of the type advantages. I should hopefully be able to live one more hit. Please don't get a crit. Please don't get a crit. Please don't get. A... Yes. Woo! I we did it. We did it. We did it. Did it. Did it. We did it. Alright, so they move in a lot lower levels, but Jesus Christ. Okay, thank you for the berries. Alright, that's cool. I just want to go back to the Pokemon Center now. Now, luckily, I'm, as far as I'm aware, this gym is actually a fire gym. So, Oshawott um, is going to do some work. Whereas Pansir, not so much. So let's train those up. Good stuff. Awesome. Right, I'm going to get Oshawott to a D Watt, which you guys might as well watch. I think that is the gym leader right there, because she wasn't there when we started. And how have I not saved yet? Yeah, I know. Okay, right. Oshawa, oh damn it, I've got Pansir on front. Um, Oshawa doesn't need much. I just want it, I would like it to be a D Watt before we go to this gym. Because I do know that the gym leader's got level 18s. Um, I'll let Pansir take care of this because it can pretty much one shot it. There we go. Just get the really pathetic amount of XP. Oshawa, you're going to become a D Watt right now. How much XP do you actually need? 129, okay, so it's going to be a little bit. About, on average, about four wild Pokemon. A Poochiena! If we can get this thing to evolve before we go to the gym, it'll have even greater stats. 
because it'll have increased HP and I only got 10 XP from that Fujiana. So, uh, okay, right, these Purloins are the highest XP giving Pokemon in this grass. They give 33. Although this is a lower level, so it might be a little bit lower. It's fine. Oshawa. Ah, oh, just because you've got lowered, lowered attack. And you got a speed tie with a level 4 purloin. And, uh, 13 XP. Brilliant. They really have lowered the XP that these things give. Or it's purely because I'm hitting them with a level 16, not sure what, but. There we go. There's like no XP. Come on! Oh, a level 7 Weedle. And no. Now you're gonna slow me down? Okay, fine. That one string shot made me slower. And all of that for 25 XP. Okay, that's the highest we've had so far. I know this is quite boring for you guys, but I'd rather it be a DWAT before we even enter the gym. And hopefully we can start to see some good Pokemon after this. Now my plan is to catch all of the legendaries. And um, when you download this ROM, or the patch for the ROM, sorry. Um, it does give you a document to show you what wild Pokemon are where and where the legendary uh, in, uh, encounters are. So I will be hopefully catching all of them because, you know, they're legendaries, why not? It's part of the game. I won't get all of 649 Pokemon though, purely because that will take a long time. I would literally want a box in my computer that's got, like, all the legendaries as every Pokemon player usually does, and then my team that can defeat the Elite Four and all of that sort of stuff. Come then, Purloin. Um, now, while I quickly think of it, um, I, did, I have got a comment as to a Pokemon I need to get, so we are going to, when we get to Route 6, because that's a little bit of the way yet, we are going to be getting a Deerling called Gary T. Thanks to XNF Assassin, so yes, I will be doing that. Whether he gets used a lot or not is obviously a different question, but I will definitely be catching one and catching, calling it Gary T. And is it a definite? Don't you dare poison me. Thank you. Right, you're going to give me the last 25 I need, aren't you? Aren't you, Weedle? Yeah! Okay, right, come on, Oshawa, evolve. What's that? Razor Shell. What is Razor Shell? This usually cuts its target with sharp shells. Yes, hell yeah. Over Water Sport though, because Water Sport is a bit terrible. Yeah. You gonna revolve? Yes, you are. Bring on the D-Watt. First evolution of this series, guys. Hopefully many, many, many more. And D what? Yeah, Roy. I can't wait till it's a Samurott. But hopefully this thing is going to absolutely wreck now. So let's go back for a quick heal. And we'll do this gym. Dun 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 Okay, so pretty much I'm just going to stick with D Watt in front for now, purely for the fact that I don't know if you guys want me to keep Panseer. So let's rock up and save. We'll do this gym leader with just D Watt, and then you guys let me know in the comments if you want me to keep Panseer or what Pokemon you want me to get next. I will be catching a Pokemon that I want to catch when I see them, but otherwise all the Pokemon I get will be 
from you guys. So let's find out what she wants. Uh huh, here we are. Okay. Hi. Okay, I got a fresh water. Um, what are you? Okay. So, as far as I know, this is purely the whatever's on the curtains, you just pick what it's weak against. Nice and easy. Oh, here we go. It was a trainer. It is a trainer. Let's find out if this is actually. <laughs> oh dear. There you go, guys. There's actually a Call of Duty reference in a Pokemon game. Hope you all read that. Please be a fine trainer. A tree coat. Okay. Um, it's actually it's obviously a grass gym. Right, let's see how good Razor Shell actually is. Oh, actually that's pretty decent damage. And I dropped his defense. Oh, quick attack. He obviously doesn't know Absorb or Vine Whip or anything. It's about to use something. I like the way that they changed it so you can't tell. Alright, okay, so it's a mixture of them then. Let's get Razor Shell because it's actually a ground water. Now they actually made it so it's not effective. That's fine by me. Get that tackle. Alright, go d -Watt. Nicely done. What else we got? Torch it. There we go. I'll just water gun, raise a shell PP. Save on them. Goodbye, Torchic. So that was third gen starters right there. That's all cool. What we got? Okay. What we'll do is in this episode we'll get up to the gym leader and then we'll fight her in the next episode. Pokemon Vault White. Okay, so. Are you going to have one of each as well? Are you going to have the fourth gen, the first gen, the second gen? I don't know about Turtwig actually. I'm pretty sure Turtwig isn't a staff Pokemon. Get razor shelled. Oh, there we go. There's something that's gonna hurt. Ah, oh, not too bad actually. I'm gonna tackle it purely for the extra damage. And it's just gonna tackle me, even though it could have quite easily have absorbed. There we go. Okay, what yeah, you're sending something, it's gonna be your your fire type, apparently. And a water gun to your face. Goodbye. Level 18! Um, so in something it's going to be your water. Piplop. Get some tackle. Yeah, I'll even bubble me if you want. Fine by me. Get tackled. Headbutt a penguin in the face. Yeah. Bye bye, waitress. And then, fire. Alright, so there's the gym leader. We are going to run back and heal. And then we're going to call it an episode right now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Very sorry about the previous episode not being a full recorded dealio. Um, I don't know what happened. I just tried a different form of recording and it just cut off like a third.
third of the screen. My microphone didn't get picked up or anything, so sorry about that. You haven't really missed much. Um, I did manage to fight all of those trainers no problem at all. Just as we have within this gym. So let's get to the gym leader. Okay, it's going to start automatic. Okay. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to fight her now because the saving part I can't do. I probably should have gone up the stairs. Let's see if we can beat her. It's going to be a triple battle. Oh, no. Okay, no, we're good. There we go. There is their intro. Sorry I skipped it all. I just wanted to get to the battle. So, I'm going to save beforehand, and I'll see you in episode 3. See you later.